Okay, and back we come and into the final one. The treasure room. Trusted friend, you have such a quiet, unassuming aura. I feel like a task with anything, which is why I'm asking you to do something rather special for me now. So you know, I go traveling from time to time. Along the way, I've picked up the odd curious trinket or two. Keep them all in a treasure room of sorts. I think part of me must consider it somewhat indulgent, hence its neglected state. And the whole place is now covered in a thick layer of dust. Would you be able to clear things up for me? Yes, because valuable treasures and high pressure water definitely mix. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay. Time to get started. I've never let another soul in here. Not even dear old Winston. Oh, well, we are very privileged. Armor of horse. I know he's tried. I've seen the scratch marks on the upstairs vents. Brilliant. He just knows it's dusty and he, he just wants to do something about it. Ding ding. It's a mannequin. Just relief and joy to finally share them with someone. Well, there we go. Oh, bracer. Bracer. I didn't realize there were so many bits to it. Get right up in there. Bit of tasteful upskirt. That was an interesting noise. Shin guard. Shin guard. There's going to be all sorts of bits of these armor pieces that I don't even know that I've missed. I've been. Oh well. <laughs> At least they're all categorized so when I check the PDA later it'll tell me which ones I've missed yeah it's just spray a gramophone sure that that makes perfect sense that won't damage it at all be fine you do wonder sometimes in this game <laughs> it's it's very much the old, uh, like, when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And all you have is a power washer. Everything looks like a patio, I guess, or something. What's still not clean on the gramophone? Oh, dear God. Okay, that was a bad idea. So I'm trying to see what's not clean on the gramophone, just saw the entire room. Just light up. Something underneath? I mean, there's the table as well. Oh, that's just the behind bits of all of the legs. Yep, so I've got the table, but not the gramophone itself. Does it need a bit of yellow nozzle action just to clean off some tenacious stains? What is it? Apparently. Okay, fair enough. Um, we should probably work our way, like, from the roof down, to be honest. Let's just stand up on the dinosaur, shall we? Um, we're gonna have to get up the back there, too, I think. We do have a step ladder, but not an actual ladder. There's tire marks in here. Why have you been driving your ATV in here, Lara? What is wrong with you? <laughs> We're gonna have to do the like the sides of the window frames because they're probably embossed. Which means I am gonna have to actually get up onto there probably. It just seems easier to do a lot of it from here. there to do on the window itself. Just have to go slower it seems. Is 
Seems we haven't quite got everything of the wall. Okay, can we get up there? <laughs> Almost. I hate how these things are not straight. They don't let me climb up them very easily. There we go. Ah, let me up. Let me up. Uh, fuck's sake. How are we supposed to get up there? Oh, there is a ladder. Okay. <laughs> we just didn't see it. There we go. Fun as it is to try and just cheese everything in parkour places, it's just easy to use the ladder. Good. Power blast this lovely wood paneling, it's, it's, I'm sure it's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Should probably have done the uh, bit above me before doing this bit, but you know, the bit above me. You mean the roof? Yeah. Well, the ceiling. Anyway. Keeps not telling me what type of dirt it is as well. It's something that just keeps resetting, it seems. Okay, so we didn't say ceiling section. I thought it was going to be each of these bits, but... It's... okay. Along until that beam. That seems to be it. Alright, well... Um, what's going to be the best way to do the rest? I mean, you can't just get up onto a ladder at various intervals. But also we can just do it from the floor if we need to. Mostly I just want to make sure that I get the um, top edges of things that are going to be hard to get from below. Do the tops of the beam from the other side from the top of like the big fireplace area I guess. But at least we managed to do these from here and then we're able to do most of the rest just from the floor I guess just looking up. I was really hoping that each of these bits would be a separate ding. Yeah, you know, when it said ceiling section, I really thought that it was going to be each of these panels here. But no. Alright. 
let's go back down again and extension us up and do there's the beam done yep No, don't go up the ladder. <laughs> okay, so what's not clean on this section now then? I should have known better than to use the green nozzle. Oh wow, yeah, all this bit there, okay, yeah. Yeah, don't use the green on the top bits, that's, that's the advice there. Use it on the bottom parts, but... something and I keep getting stuck on the bloody dinosaur tail. <laughs> what are we missing? It's just random. It's just random bits. Okay. Cool. That is... Um, let's just move you down the other end now. Just so we can do the top angles of these beams from here. side. Ah, what's going on here? Ladders are very awkward sometimes. <laughs> I guess we should just do these bits. These subsections, I guess you'd call it, <laughs> given that the section is larger. Uh, let's just crouch down to get a bit of view on this bit as well. Bit too close for comfort. It's trying to make me go down the ladder again, isn't it? Okay, there we go. I mean, while I'm here, I may as well do the chimney. Fireplace chimney breast. Um, sorry? <laughs> I wasn't aware that was a thing. You definitely learn a lot about architectural terms in this game. Also, I we probably didn't need the ladder to get up here because we can just jump up the side here, can't we? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's finish off over here. Because once we finish off this whole bookcase pediment bit up the top here, we can just put the ladder back over the side and then just leave it there and then forget about it. Unless we specifically need it for something else. Cool. 
who at least she had the presence of mind to take the books off the bookshelves before getting me to power wash them did there's that So what are the bits that I'm trying to clean here anyway? We've got bookcase pillar. Let's go all the way to the floor. Looks like it. Don't know what I'm missing on it. Okay frame as well, okay, and then we've got these doors, okay, lots of little bits to the bookcase it turns out, oh, we've hit 20% finally, that took a while, <laughs> start with the elephant in the room, which in this case is a dinosaur, yes it is, it is, is quite the elephant you've got there, yes it is real, I mean, it's not, A reconstruction shortly first thing you did when you walked in was squirt him in the face wasn't it no actually I should have thought to do that but no it wasn't I'm more professional than that Lara I don't drive an ATV around inside <laughs> took a lot more than that to take him down the first time of asking I assure you okay I must be missing something about the Tomb Raider games. I did not realize they involved time travel or dinosaurs. I have only played some of the modern ones. I have not played any of the old ones. It's just what I've seen Clove play, basically, on stream. <laughs> Way back when. not broken down into bits it's just Tyrannosaurus Rex in its entirety so I guess it makes sense to clean him first really and it also makes sense to finish off the ceiling but if I clean this guy then at least I know it's done mostly just since you mentioned it <laughs> sure what bits I'm missing. I'm guessing bits underneath. Oh, I haven't done the side of his legs either. Legs and feet. As long as it doesn't start chasing me when I finish cleaning it. That would make the rest of the level a little bit annoying. With it mounted on this base, it just, it, it's like a, a miniature, except not a miniature, it's a, <laughs> a maxiature. It's like a board game piece for a massive board game. floor. Which is nice, it means that it's not boring, because I'm going to have to clean the whole damn thing, so... <laughs> Always nice for it to not be boring. Okay. I guess I'm just missing a bit in your mouth or some shit. Yeah, there we go. Good, you didn't come to life, so that's good. 
Um, so shelves I'm going to have to do the underneath of, presumably, as well. Is that all I'm missing on you guys? Yeah, apparently so. Okay. Let's try and do it a little bit more methodically instead of just spraying willy-nilly. the pillar. Frame. Good. Shelves. We're going to have to do the top and the underneath. There we are. Lovely. Always more pleasing to do it in order. Hmm. Getting better at those pillars. Need to do a better job of the top, don't I? Um, can I stand on this and do it? Kind of. Where's the ladder? <laughs> Wink. I put it here and go up. There we go. Yeah. Mm, too much of an angle for those ones, but. It's one of those cases of, let's just do it properly, shall we? <laughs> Instead of bouncing about and trying to cheese it, let's just do it properly, shall we? So, there we go. Put the ladder down, and now we can move the ladder. And then we can move it out of the way. Get stuck on the tail again. But now we can do the top of these shelves. Well, kind of. Okay, let's, let's do it the other way around. Handy that I can put it in the corner like this. There we go. And we know that the those shelves are done. Right. And then we can just stick that there. Pillar. I guess that's the bit to do next. Um, we should be doing these. So we've got to do the underside too, don't we? Still. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So that's the shelves. There's the doors down the bottom here. And the frame. Good. See how easy it is when you actually do it properly? <laughs> go. Pillar. Start on that pillar. Do the frame. Do the shelves, do the underside. There we go. Do the door, do the frame. What am I missing? Very little, turns out. Good. Hello. What am I missing on the pillar? Some awkward lower angle? Yes. Corner beam. Good. Nice. All in order. Fantastic. Is this separate? No, panelled wall is the whole thing. I was thinking maybe the corner bit was different, but nope. Goes all the way along. Ditto planked ceiling, it seems. Alright. There's the supporting beam. 
is quite large. Okay, uh, bleh. what to do next? Maybe do some of these spotlights. I thought I'd done a pretty good job at least, but I don't know what what angles I still need to do. Oh, there we go. It's probably easiest to do these ceiling sections from the top of the dinosaur. Eh? Since I'm here and everything. Oh, the beam is different on both sides. Okay. There's one side. on the other side of that one. But that's alright. Uh, spotlights I'm going to have to do from below, I think. This side of this arched beam. There's nothing really to stand on in the middle there. We need another feature of some sort just to stand in the middle. Oh well. Seems like we're really close to it because we're on the back of the T-Rex, but it's actually a bit further away, I think, than I think. Uh, this ceiling section is almost done, but I think I'm missing bits on this side, perhaps. Let's just do extra long extension to be done with it. There we go. This one also nearly done. Just the ceiling section, apparently we've there we go. Apparently we missed something and now we haven't. Okay, now we've got to get underneath here to do this beam properly. And the section as well. Spotlights. Spotlights. There we go. Good. very weirdly. Okay. Cool. I wonder what these display cases have. 35%. 
Yeah, this is a big level. <laughs> well, let's just keep going. Let's do the central beam as much as we can. We can do the whole thing actually if we can, that'd be good. Just have to oh, clipping into things. Good, just do the arches. gonna have to do ceiling beam from this side as well. Should hopefully do actually if we stand on top of this. Yeah, we don't need to worry about clipping into it then. It means we're also doing this part of the ceiling sections as well. Okay, now it's just the other side. Presumably. It's the fireplace bit we can kind of do from up close and personal. Cool. Got the shield crest. Fireplace apron. Alright, again, we're learning all sorts of architectural terms here. <laughs> it's the apron, apparently, and then we've got the mantle. Well, the mantle makes sense, because you have, like, a mantle piece and stuff. It's very big, that's what I'm sure. We've got to do the sides as well, of course. We're also getting extremely distracted, because we were doing the ceiling. stuff we can do from standing on top of the fireplace let's do the beams at least from here cool all right um bleep, 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 bleep. That's an arched beam as well, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Supporting beam, let's just try and finish this off, shall we? Nice. Now we do the arched beams. Hey, 40%. One of the glass cabinets, you'll find a beautiful red stone. I was leaving them till last, but okay. Spoilers. <laughs> it's the Orb of Sardonyx. Wink. Oh, it's the Philosopher's Stone. There we go. Used to turn lead into gold. I could use that in ETS too. Apparently, to produce the elixir of life, the secret of immortality. I'm guessing it didn't work. Since Winston knows it's in here and thinks I've used it, as he frequently comments on how I haven't aged a day since 1996. <laughs> yeah, probably he wants to use it himself. He's getting old. Scrub, scrub, scrub. There we go. Just sticking with using the yellow since using the green I seem to have to go over and find things that I'd missed just kind of misses little specks whereas the yellow seems to be much more comprehensive and now I'm just going to do it from this angle I think probably both angles to be fair because the there we go because the wood does stick out a bit do each ceiling section 
subsection, that is. From both sides. We at least have to do these beam bits from both ends. Scrub, 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 scrub. And like we were saying, there we go. Just like that. That's uh, amazing how quickly you can do things when you know what you're doing. Get the ceiling beam done as well. Yeah. If you do it more straight on, I guess it should do both sides reasonably well, like so. Okay, well we've almost finished the ceiling, which is nice. Which means we're almost halfway there, basically, it seems. weird most of the ceiling sections have so three three four four in terms of the subsections it's not even just odd funny enough it's throwing me off a little bit there we go not enough to not clean it though beam get the uh, Persona 3 Reload versions of these songs added to my normal gameplay playlist. Though I kind of prefer the originals instead of the uh, the Reload versions. Ah, Mr. Smarty. Hello, hello. I missed you coming in earlier. Preoccupied on uh, cleaning a ceiling. song's always appropriate for power simulator. Jump around, jump around, jump around now. I, I tend to be doing that in most levels. It's about 46%, I guess. We've missed lots of little bits on the ceiling section, I think. There we go. Good. Ah, there's another section that I haven't done. on this section. Ah, hang on. There we go. That makes sense. Cool. 46%. Now if we do these end walls, that'll help. I'm trying to get to at least like 50% and then I can take a break. <laughs> It actually isn't taking as long as I feared. Wink. Up we come. Do this ball. It's just kind of easy to do it from back here rather than being too close to it. Yeah. 
except for the fact that I missed big bits of it from here. There we go. Right, so 47. this. There we go. Done the moulding. Nice. Corbels, pilasters, again, uh, all the weird terms. Still quite a bit on the mental to do, apparently. Yes, yes, there is. Why is the side wall not done? Oh, I think I see the problem. Annoying bricks. There it is. Yep, very annoying bricks. Okay, so then there's that molding, good. And then there's the top bits of the mantle here to do. There we go, good. Okay, and then this also has annoying bricks. Forty-nine percent. What else do we need to do to get to fifty? <laughs> what are we missing on the fireplace? Well, there's the bricks around. I guess we can do that. Oh, we should try and do the side wall too. Again, it's got the annoying bricks. And now we're at 50%. Okay, nice. trying to do this light. <laughs> I hit behind, of course. Cool, well, that's all those done, and then over this side we can do this light from here as well. Yep. Why not cleaning? There we go. Alright, well that's a good 50% done now, so I'm pretty happy about that. So we came in this way, I think that might be the button that lets us out again. We're kind of trapped in here, I think, um, and until we're allowed to leave after we clean everything it seems. <laughs> that's, yeah, a little bit odd. Uh, let's move our step 
ladder out of the way actually. Can I put this up here? Yes, good. Just out of the way because we've cleaned around here and we want to be able to clean underneath it. Ladder also, similarly, gonna have to move that out of the way at some point, but eh, I can just live there probably. But yeah, uh, good place to take a short break at 50% I think. Hello T-Rex. Time to take a break. 